Tom, I tried to make um, history on Sunday. How much are you looking forward to the game? Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's the grand final, so it's the one that everyone looks forward to. So everyone works hard in pre-season for, for the grand final and the chance to win this trophy. So a chance to get it, it's, uh, it's a very good feeling and um, yeah, a chance to make history, which is not something that comes around often. So I'm quite proud of that. Yeah, we're a light session last night, uh, training-wise. Um, just nailing down that last few moves, last few defensive players. And uh, just getting all those things like ready, so we're ready to roll on on Sunday. We're always quite a joyful and happy bunch anyway, so I think it's it's kind of the same. But just time times by ten with it being grand final week, and um, yeah, the mood's really good. I mean, we've we've been set a job to do, and we just have to go out there and do it now. And you've already played in some big games and some big finals. Will that experience help, do you think, on Sunday? Yeah, I believe uh, in finals it's it's the biggest stage of all and all the lights and cameras are on us and um, uh, some people can shy away from it and some people can step in front and have an experience before in front of the cameras, like in the Challenge Cup final and previous finals. I think, yeah, that'll, that'll put us in good stead for the final. Um, and the game's going to be on Sky on Sunday. How pleasing is that to see that the exposure for the game, the wheelchair game, is growing? Um, yeah, I mean, growing up as a kid, I've always watched rugby on Sky Sports. So to be able to say I've been on there as well and played live on there as well, which is it's very, it's a it's a very humbling and, and proud proud moment for myself. So I can't wait to be on there. Good stuff. Um, and you're a Rhinos fan, and you were part of the youth setup um, at the Rhinos. Um, how proud are you to re represent the club? Um, I've I'm, I've always been a Rhinos fan since I was since I was a young lad. So, um, to be able to wear the wear the badge week in week out, uh, for training sessions at right uh, at the wheelchair side and training uh, games, just to be able to wear the badge and and be a part of the club, it's 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 something that I've I've dreamt of to be honest. So, yeah, it's a good feeling. Um, I used to play running rugby for Alton. Oh, invaders at the time, so I used to play alongside uh, Jack Walker and a few other people that played professionally uh, and playing in Super League and Championship. And um, I, I broke my foot whilst whilst playing, and um, so I couldn't I couldn't play anymore for about six or seven weeks. So um, my auntie, who um, who was a part of the Rhinos at the time, who took my cousin across uh, to play, and he, and said, "Why don't you just come across and play?" So I said. Uh, yeah, why why not why not come across and then ever since then I ain't I ain't looked back and um I've been a part of successful rhinos um grand final winners um league league winners and challenge cup winners and I ain't looked back so I started from breaking my foot in running game to now playing in the biggest stage on Sky Sports. And when you got that injury, um, you must have that must have crossed your mind there that you'd never get the chance to play rugby again in finals. So how great is it that there's opportunities like the wheelchair team that's giving people a chance to play the game that they love? Yeah, I mean the wheelchair game is probably the most uh, accessible sport there is out there. So even if you're man, woman, black, white, uh, able-bodied, disabled, you can literally be anything and play this sport, which is why this sport is so good. I mean. I would never think I get the chance to play alongside my cousin, and I I do that week in week out at the Rhinos now. So, um, it's it brings families together, it brings the whole community together, and it's probably the greatest spot of all for me.